Hey guys, Mr. Stack here. So this video is on using gradients, which is multicolors, image effects, and removing backgrounds of images. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys how to remove a background because it is so effective and really easy to do. So take an example up here. Maybe I was trying to explain contrast and I was trying to showcase the fact that against a lot of black images, one yellow one will stand out by having the color contrast with the black on yellow. So I went to Google and I went to go look for an image. And what I did was I just Googled contrast, visual color, stand out, found something that I liked. And I took this photo over here. I brought it over to PowerPoint and boom, I put it in right there. Now it looks pretty darn good against this white background, but what would happen if I decided to change the background color to be maybe let's choose dark red. Now I choose dark red over here and all of a sudden it looks ugly. Like you see that white, like it's so distracting. So the question is, are there some image effects or background removal things that I can do to make that less ugly? Well, the first thing I wanna showcase is if you right click on a picture and you go over to format picture, it will take you over to a couple of settings over here that will let you do a little bit with it. So first off is soft edges is a great tool to try and make something just, you know, less like in your face glaring. And what it will do is it will blur the outside of the image so that the closer to zero you get, the more that it's going to disappear and kind of just fade into that image over there. Now, I'm not telling you that you need to blur every single image you make, but I am saying that I think that at a blur of about 10, make something a lot less ugly when you choose to keep that background. And I think that photos, everything looks a little bit better with that blur. Now this is an opinion. Some people like the hard edge over here. I personally think that the blur looks a little better, but how do I get rid of this white entirely? Like, is there a way that perhaps I can, you know, just get rid of it? Absolutely, yes there is. So how you do it is you're gonna go over to that image that you like, you're gonna notice there's a background. So you're gonna right click, you're gonna click save that image. You're gonna save this to your OneDrive and then you're gonna click the well, folder for whatever class you're, you're doing it for. Then you hit save and then you're gonna go over to Google and you're gonna type in background remover free online. And I personally like the website remove.bg, it's real good. So if you click on this one, you can play around with others. I like this one, so I'm gonna use this guy over here and you're gonna upload the image we're gonna click the image from our OneDrive, we click open, and it is going to upload it, and it's gonna remove the background. So it shows you this is the original one, this is the new one that it removed the background on, so I'm going to right click, I'm gonna copy the image, I'm gonna go back over to PowerPoint, I'll paste this back over there, and you, what you should notice is that this image has no background. So even against that red background, like you can see that, um, well, you'll notice there's even some holes in it, and that was unintentional. But, you know, it's pretty darn good about removing the background entirely, which really lets it stand out against um, whatever color you'd like that to be. And this is especially good when working with, like, people's heads, faces, any type of image you want that to be removed in. So it's a real handy tool. And the next thing I want to showcase is how do you take this one step further and use gradients and images together? So let's say over here on this slide I want my title over here to show some element of repetition with the color schemes used over here. So if my slide was on showcasing not only contrast, but on, you know, using well, what this video is, the removing backgrounds and stuff, I'm going to try and put the word over here using some text effects, and I'm going to choose this to be a gradient over here. I'm going to play around what this looks like and what the background looks like just to showcase how it works. So if I'm going to right click on the text over here and I'm going to do format text effects, I'm going to go over to um, the first one, which has to do with color, and I'm going to click gradient fill. So now you can do a gradient that is preset. You can choose from one of the original ones, or you can customize your colors. You could also choose the direction or the type over here, but I'm going to start by just choosing colors that are actually in that picture. So I'm going to click on the color over here, and I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to eyedrop the color of the black over there. I'm going to do over here the eyedropper tool of the yellow over here, and I'm going to do the eyedropper tool over here of maybe another shade of that black, because there's a bunch of different shades in it. So maybe that guy over there. So by choosing that over here, I'm going to try and showcase 
that the same of this image, we kind of have black on the left, we have black on the right, but we have this yellow in the middle. So I'm going to play with this gradient. Um, so that's over here, a shape gradient. Sometimes that's a mistake that's made, and I'm glad I made that mistake to showcase that that's not the one we're looking for. We want the text gradient. So make sure that you choose the text over there. And I want this yellow to be in the, the middle over here. So depending on the direction, the type of gradient we're currently working on, it's going to kind of change that. I want to do a linear gradient over here, and I want it to have it kind of the same direction like so. So it's going to be oriented the same way as this. I could even, if I want to, maybe slant it a little bit because this is slanted a little bit, something like that. And maybe I make the black a little bit closer to the middle over here, something like something like this. So by using this, you can kind of use repetition with your image where you have that nice color scheme that matches across your presentation. Now, I think that white stands out a lot more than this. So perhaps you don't want to, to always do this, but it's at least something that you're aware of that you could do and sometimes making font a lot larger will make a gradient seem a lot cooler. You know, I think that it can really stand out in terms of color. So if I didn't want to do a text gradient, I would go back to a solid fill again, make sure that it's on the text option. I'm gonna go back to, to no fill. Let's see what I can do instead of doing that. Maybe what I'll do is I will um, do a gradient as my background. So I will fill over here, go back over to design for my backgrounds and gradient fill. So we can play around with what that might look like in terms of the background. Again, with that background image, not very pretty over here. Kind of looks weird in the background. I think it's too busy. I wouldn't do something like this, but maybe, just maybe, I want to make some sort of border effect. I think that might look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that background, and I'm going to insert a shape over here, maybe just a rectangle. I'm going to make this rectangle a little bit larger than my whole slide over here. And I'm going to then insert another rectangle, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to then kind of try and make this even balanced. Good. And then I'm going to take the two shapes. I'm going to go over to shape format. And off the left-hand side, there's a bunch of options for these shapes. I can combine the shapes, fragment them. In this case, I'm going to subtract uh, the shapes over here. And by subtracting these shapes, I think actually what I meant was not intersect. I want the opposite of intersect, right? Is that combined? Yeah, combine the shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically removing the inside of that image to give myself this border. And if I gradient fill this border, and then I make sure that this shape is uh, in the right format so that it's around the border of the slide, perfect. So now I have over here this nice gradient border that uh, kind of lets the other parts over here blend in and perhaps that's kind of nice. I kind of like it. It's not perfect, but the idea is you can kind of use these shapes, you can use gradients, you can use these colors to kind of make your whole presentation flow, and I think that the gradient over here of using the same colors will look a lot better than choosing just random colors for your backgrounds. So that's a tutorial on shapes, gradients, um, removing backgrounds, and last is a couple of image effects just so you're aware of them. So if you want to format an image even after removing the backgrounds, you can right click, you can go over to format picture and play around with some of the effects such as uh, glow. You can make some sort of you know preset glow around an image if you want to try and make it like stand out against the presentation. You can do 3D stuff with trying to make it have some sort of depth over here where if we're going to make stuff stand out. It doesn't always work perfectly. You can rotate it, have different effects and change the color, make it try and make it more 3D. You can also, you know, reflect it. You can do 3D rotations, but just be aware artistic effects is out there, which is kind of cool. It will allow you to do a lot of different um, just things to your slide, whether it's making it inverted or you are in that color wise or you're trying to make you know weird different shapes there's a lot of cool things out there that you should just be aware of with artistic effects to try and play with um, the picture so yeah that's my tutorial on gradients image effects and moving backgrounds hopefully that you guys enjoyed